It's movie time. We're trying to say to his friends online. So everything is gonna be just fine. From the top down to the bottom. He's gonna let you know if you should stay on or if you should go. Might even yell if it's a spectacle. From San Francisco to Long Island. Time is produced and hosted by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And once again, I'm Wayne Miller. And this is It's Movie Time. And John, yes. We're real. We're, uh, we're real. I, I, I don't know. I think you're a deep fake DeSando. It could be. <laughs> I mean, boy, <laughs> who knows anymore? Oh, wow, yeah, and it's getting worse, and I learned, uh, since we're in the midst now of a, a, a contentious, heated presidential election coming up, who knows what all the bad actors out there are going to be posting? You well, know, like yeah. they've already had problems with the Iranians trying to hack into uh, uh, Trump's organization. <laughs> Well, anyway, the movie is afraid. Yes. And to the consternation of critics, they yes. had to type out the capital A and I in the middle of it. Yes. It's, it's very frustrating. Which I thought was quite cute. <laughs> it you is know. cute. It's almost, it brings me to mind so many comparisons to one of our favorites from the past couple of years, Megan. And of course, her name was spelled M E <laughs> and then three. I know. It drives me crazy. Yeah, I've written reviews. Anyway, it's called Afraid. And while I'm not sure they ever prove the fear factor, um, I, I think we live, wouldn't you say, that, that it's, it's topical? Yes. And, and, uh, because, in fact, it's one of those horror films that really strikes home, do you, do you think? I think so. And one of the things, I'm sure if we don't talk about it here for um, uh, its movie time, definitely the podcast, Back Talk, uh, yeah, two different type of genres, you know, both the artificial intelligence we'll talk about, but also uh, the whole thing of family-themed movie. And that is not so much for the family, because even though that I would recommend this uh, for uh, anybody, uh, because there is little gore, little violence, uh, but the, um, uh, the whole family in peril type of genre that I like that we're talking yeah. about. Yeah, so you know, maybe, it, but, basically what you're saying is it's a, a, a family thriller. Yes, yeah. yeah. It, because exactly. you, don't have to, you don't have to think about it as being deep um, artificial intelligence, right. deep sci-fi. You don't have to think that. No, no. And, you know, and there's so many movies out there that have kind of hit on the whole thing of AI taking over our lives. Yeah. You know, uh, and of course, you know, I know that you put together a list. I got together a yeah. list. It would be interesting to see if yeah. some of the ones that I think are really very, very topical uh, for the whole artificial intelligence you know, type of problem, if we agree. I think for me, and, and as we get to that podcast, I'll just kind of prefigure what I'm going to say there, is that I begin with 2001 Space Odyssey. Yes, yes. And then I go from there. I go from there. Yeah. And there's a couple of them throughout the year. Well, yeah, but. Because it's been nearly, I would say, a good 100 years. And I go all the way back to the German film Metropolis. <laughs> I know. In 1927, so nearly 100 years of uh, kind of a malevolent robot, if not uh, an artificial intelligence thing, which could take many forms. Well, one of the provocative things that, that this movie does, it makes me wonder why they have that awkward. A uh, little AI. <laughs> I, she, I think, she doesn't look like Alexa at oh all. Oh my God! It looks like uh, you know you could kind of turn it on its side and cook on it. It looked like some coil. Well, uh, it's sure it got to be an image of the uh, the little figure that comes up if you don't have a photo. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, uh, no. Otherwise, it's one awkward thing because I know I've gone to friends' houses who have Alexa and you can barely find it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it is a spin-off on that idea, and I think every one of us, and certainly I, the first time I saw it, I was impressed. You yeah. know, Alexa played this song. Yeah. She plays yeah. it. Wow. And or Alexa, turn off the lights. Or... Which I think it's so funny because the closest thing I have to that is my little GPS on my phone that'll, uh, that uh, gives me nice, like, little chirpy 
uh, directions to where I'm going, which I kind of like, and I, I wind up talking to it. And you can kind of see, like um, Joaquin Phoenix did in the movie Her, yeah. how uh, and, uh, and, uh, an Alexa like thing that has a sexy voice like Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, you know, right, right, right. But, you know, John, one of the things that's interesting wasn't really talked about too much in this movie that I thought would have added some to it and more on that too about the, the kind of skimpy narrative. But uh, the uh, uh, reality, the, the, the little headgear that people put in yeah, yeah. Uh, and stuff like that, yeah. that would be an interesting kind of thing yeah. to explore people getting into uh, this uh, virtual reality, you know, type of games. Well, you know, I, you and I have shared, and I've told you, I thought this was provocative without providing any answers to anything. It doesn't even dare. It's afraid to yeah. get uh, to get close to any of these topics. I, but you know, and like you said, the, the critics. And I read about four or five reviews, including Washington Post and New York Times and Entertainment <laughs> Weekly. And I tell you. Uh, Rarely do any of them like it, and one of the things they hit on that is uh, uh, they think it's a real drawback to the movie. They don't believe, and I kind of disagree with them on this, that the characters weren't well defined. And I kind of believe we do uh, 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 we do find that they find John Cho and um, Catherine Watterson uh, kind of wimpish in a way, and uh, the multi. Uh, the blended family type of and thing. the snarky teenage daughter who's kind of a stereotype. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, and uh, and the runtime and they say could there have been more? What they're interested in is uh, if there's um, if they have out there. And I believe it was a Bloomhouse production that uh, on the cutting room floor. If we get it, wind up getting on DVD a director's cut of this. That there may be more to flesh out the characters, flesh out the plot, because at the runtime's like 84 minutes, and that includes a five minute as any movie has anymore in credits. I know. Well, I, you know, you make a really good point that, you know, it, for all of its weaknesses, and its plot is filled with weaknesses, and if you're going to be picky about it, you're not going to like this movie. No. But if you're like us, after a couple of drinks, right, we we're, we're very we're, uh, undiscerning. We're fully taste. loaded with food yes. in a private theater. Yes, and uh, munching away on our yeah. free, your uh, free then, popcorn. Yeah. And, and, uh, but that's characteristic of, we're going to go where the director wants us to go. In this case, it's it's Chris Weitz, who also does the uh, the story. So, yeah, yeah I, I, we're going to go with them, however, wherever he wants to go. And by the end of the journey, we'll say, hey, Chris, that was a good one, or it wasn't, or... Or it's, you know. I, I liked it. I, it. I did not get, uh, because of the short run time, I did not get bored. And a lot of critics kind of felt it was kind of boring. I didn't think so. I was waiting to see what was around the corner. Well, what happens in, this, in a movie like this, with the 80-some minutes that you're yeah. talking about, is that you get topics that need to be fully fleshed out. There's one moment where I knew that this probably wasn't going to be a deeply Space Odyssey movie. Yeah. Uh, and that was when they're driving along and a car comes next to them, and the guy is looking at his phone while the car is driving. Exactly. And so you have two modern technologies working. Yeah. And but then that's it. Yeah. Now, however, phone does play a big part in this. Yeah. You have that um, that deep porn se segment where yeah. the poor snarky little a, a teenager. Yeah. yeah she's, she's, uh, that was unfortunately what I hear happens to a lot of teenagers anymore because it's so. But with the technology now, it's so easy to digitize somebody's face on somebody else's body. Well, Not just a photo, uh, which uh, we've done before, yeah. if you remember, but with the, uh, uh, the, but a video, you know, how they get uh, so close that it doesn't look too cheap. Yeah, and um, the, how, exposing how foolish we are with this technology sometimes. I think the, the young, that young woman, the teenager, whom I like because she's really recalcitrant and right. rebellious, uh, she sends a photo of, of her parts to him. You know, how stupid do you have to be? Do you think this is going to just land just with him? He <laughs> can kick it around the world. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> and it always exists. You know, no matter how much, like, little uh, uh, Aya, 
I believe is how you pronounce her name, is yes. A-I-A. A-I-A, yeah. Uh, Aya. And that Aya uh, reassures the teenager that don't worry about it, that she removed it from the internet. There's no way like she was even close to Scarlett Johansson for me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know yeah. if she was, well, it was supposed to have been kind of like a younger you know, type of person in a way. For, that's how, what I got out of the voice, even though that it was trying to be the substitute mother and uh, bonding quickly right. because of things that she could do, like helping the mom who, uh, to, for, uh, to raise her kids, abandoned her doctoral thesis, you know, and her dissertation to get, um, and, uh, and I is going to help her. Right. You know, get mean, back you, well, you and I have been involved in plagiarism. No, I, 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 no. You know, well, it, this it, is just appalling. I and mean, that's one of the plot lines that could have been oh, explored yes, more, yes. you know, even though there were academics. But this whole thing of um, AI writing your papers now. Yeah, but I did feel that there was one place in the movie where they fleshed out more than any other. It was that deep porn segment. I think right. that, that, that and, they showed the ramifications of right. that, the devastation. And, and the fleshy, um, uh, fleshed out the character there yeah. of the teenager. Over yes. The, no yeah. pun intended. And the effects that the technology can have changing lives. All right, Wayne Miller, okay. the movie is afraid. afraid. Now, uh, people have to go to I, our technology, advanced technology at wcbe.org. Our, our AI-generated <laughs> podcast. And this is Tristan Demaria, and he's, he's going to make sure that if you hit the podcast experience, and since it's this movie time, it's going to be back talk, yep. what do you advise our audience? I would recommend, uh, for a short, fun type of movie uh, that you don't have to worry, uh, that you can take your kids to, and I think, actually, even young ones, I would say down to maybe six or seven, would appreciate this because we've got the family unit there and it can appeal to a teenager, the preteen, and uh, the younger kid. And you know, people like that who go to these movies are not going to be snide the way we are. They're going to accept, they're not going to be as picky. So I think you're right. I think of uh, many ages, the young people are going to enjoy seeing stuff that they live with more than we do. Yes. I mean, every exactly. day. You know, well, I know I don't. And know. how many principals are trying to tell them? The ramifications of this. Well, this movie will show you yes, how exactly. devastating it can be. I think it is. I think yeah. it is a good uh, thing. It's movie film. time. We're trying to say to his friends online. So everything is going to be just fine. From the top down to the